Hey Liz, Mike Barker here at Four Seasons RV in Medicine Hat. Uh, here's the uh, 2016 Forest or uh, Keystone Bullet. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna give you a quick tour around the whole thing. Uh, I just kind of went through it, so I'm pretty familiar with it as well. Um, so starting at the front. So as I mentioned on the phone, you do have your power jack, tongue jack across the front. Two batteries, two propane tanks there as well. Uh, you do have exterior light there just to kind of help uh, hook on when it's dark. Um, as you mentioned for storage, that is important and I understand that. Um, so with this hatch here as well, you see that little knob there and there? Magnetic. So it makes it really nice to open and close this guy here. You do have a full pass-through storage. Lots and lots of space in there. Uh, your city water connection and your fresh water connection there to fill your tanks. As you can see here, big, big slide. This thing is in uh, very, very nice condition. There's no damages or anything that I can see on the outside. Your fenders, everything look great. So moving to the back, you do have an outdoor shower just on this back corner here. Furnace is there. Some more storage here. As you can see in there, there is your park adapter inside. This does have a light to be able to uh, kind of go through everything and make sure you can see what you're doing. Moving to the back, you do have your spare tire. Those are your bunk windows there. Inside your bumper, you'll have your sewer hose. Um, but one of the upgrades that I noticed here from the previous owner, this guy's got a backup camera. So that's pretty awesome. It's going to make it real easy to back into your camping spots and all that good stuff as well. But uh, moving across the camping side of the trailer here. So here is your secondary door, which does go to the, uh, the bathroom in there. One nice thing about this, and I'm sure you're uh, aware compared to your trailer now, this is your black water flush. So instead of having to, uh, or black tank for a flush, sorry. Instead of having to run a hose through the toilet, you just hook onto there and it flushes the thing out for you as well. So the one thing I did notice here on this side, you have a slight, there's a little bit of a crack there just in that fender, but nothing crazy. Your tires, virtually brand new. They're in really, really nice shape. You do have a bracket for an outside barbecue. Some outdoor speakers there as well. And as I was kind of messing around with this, guess what? This thing has a powered awning. So really, really cool. And I'll show you how that works as well. But we're gonna step inside here just to kind of show you. This does have a thermal package in it. So it's gonna be good for when it does get a little chillier. It's gonna keep your tanks warm, all that good stuff there. And just waiting, wiping off the mud here. It's a, been pretty warm the last few days. But coming to the inside here, so I have the lights on, all that awesome stuff. Uh, you do have your leather couch, which uh, has this little guy right here. All right, turns into a uh, into a bed here, an extra bed for you to have any extra company. There's that extra counter space that you're pretty excited about here. So this does have the sink cover, which also is a cutting board. As you can see, it has been used as a cutting board as well. Plenty of counter space here. Do have a, a plug-in over here as well. Range hood, as well as a microwave. You do have storage absolutely everywhere in this thing. So this goes right around the corner there. You also have uh, more storage just on this side to access this side of it. Drawers, they're anti-slam drawers as well, so you can, and it's not gonna, you know, slam and crush anything like that. And well, as I said, more access to storage, three burner stove with your oven there, <laughs> more, more storage and more storage. So you do have paper towel holder, kind of cool, right? I think that was added on after you have uh, some pretty good cupboard space just above. Lots and lots of room. But uh, moving across to the slide, you can see here it's got some really nice wood trim. 
seats are in really great shape so this will uh, this leg flips up table drops down also have another bed which I'm sure you are familiar with you do have as you can see that uh, maybe not under seat storage here plenty of lights lots and lots of space in this area here um, so moving over to this I know you had mentioned you know not hanging up your uh, your clothes and stuff when you're camping which I agree nobody does so you do have obviously your tall wardrobe here but they have another one with shelves makes life a little easier for you so that's gonna be pretty awesome I'm just gonna turn around here and show you the type of space that you actually have so I'm standing right at the bunks so with that slide out, definitely gives you a lot more room. But uh, we'll check out the bathroom here. Bathroom's really nice, really clean. Flooring is all really good. So you do have your sink. This is winterized, so if you see the pink stuff there, that's what that's all about. GFI plug-in, vanity with a medicine cabinet. There's your uh, door, as I mentioned, to the outside. And foot flush toilet and your shower here so it is quite tall so uh, you know if you're your uh, your husband or any other family is taller you're gonna have no problem standing in here um, it does have a bit of a bathtub so you have any pets or anything like that young kids easy enough to give them a quick bath but uh, looking at the bunks here as well so they are a double bed bunk as you can see a little bit of a uh, cupboard space there storage space on the side plenty of windows for light with your blackout curtains they're just rolled up there you do have a real nice ladder going up this top bunk is rated for 300 pounds so definitely lots and lots of weight rating there um, especially you know for snuggling in with the kids or whatever the case may be you have a couple sleeping in here but uh, your bottom bunk as well and then again with that there and of course each bunk has their own light so that's pretty much it for the back of the trailer here. You do have your curtain that does go across uh, your AC with your ceiling vents. That's what these guys are here as well. There's your AC unit, fire detector. You do have a carbon monoxide detector, he detector here. But going into, I guess you can call the master bedroom. So here is your queen size bed with your overhead storage. As you know, it does open up. So goes all the way to both sides, which is cut, which is great. You do also get another wardrobe area. The other side there will have that under the bed storage. I won't lift it up because I'm sure you're pretty familiar with it. It doesn't have the shocks in it, but as I said, it's definitely something we can uh, uh, remedy for you as well. This uh, bedroom does have uh, sliding somewhat pocket doors so it does close on both sides which is great gives you privacy um one thing you know years ago wife my wife and i were looking at a trailer and she fell in love with this so this here uh is actually a laundry chute down to the bottom so you can see that i have that open if you have a laundry basket you just throw it down there all your dirty clothes just chuck them in there and they're in tucked out of the way really really makes things convenient for you so overall this is the quick as quick as I could make it run through of the whole trailer here please let me know what you think of this uh, as I mentioned like this is really nice it's been well taken care of a uh, little bit of dirt on the floor as I said from the uh, the mud outside but uh, yeah in floor heating so you'll have uh, you know your heated tanks and stuff like that too as well it does have two gray water tanks um, but I mean that's other details I can get into later so Liz, let me know what you think, and uh, with this video, I, I will send a quote, and uh, we can kind of go from there, see where you're at. Thanks.